time and I play double bass with the Hermes experiment. The double bass is the largest member of the string instrument family after the violin, viola and cello. And because it's so big it means we can play some really low pitched notes. The open strings of the double bass are E, the lowest one, followed by A, D, and finally G is the highest string. So as you may expect, double bass music is written mainly in bass clef, like the piano left hand or like a cello. But for the double bass it's also important to remember that the pitches will sound an octave lower than they are written, so that's different to the piano and the cello. So every pitch that I play in any clef will actually sound a whole octave lower. In terms of the range of notes that you can write for on the double bass, the, the normal um, orchestral register that we spend most of our time playing in runs from the low E string up to the G, which is an octave above the highest top string. So I'll just play through the range so you can hear that. You could also write for higher pitches above that range and to do that we will play in the thumb position and use this extra bit of fingerboard. I'll just play a bit of what that would sound like. So starting from the G again. On this double bass you can also access some notes that are lower than the lowest note that I've used so far. And that's because I've got something called a C extension on my double bass. And that is this piece of wood that extends the lowest string. So what I can do is just unclip this clip and I can now reach pitches down to a low C. So that is a third lower than the lowest string that we've used so far. So this is what this sounds like, starting with the E. And I can go all the way down, E flat, D, D flat, and finally, also write down to that low C as well if you like. As you will have seen already I have been using this, a bow, to make the strings vibrate and to produce a sound. And this is called arco, so you indicate this in your music by writing arco above the stave. Another really great way of producing sound on the double bass without using the bow is by plucking the strings with the fingers. So this is called pizzicato and you can denote this uh, technique by using the abbreviation PITS on top of the stave and this is another really popular technique on the bass, um, especially in jazz music.
it is really important to include loads of information about how to play the notes in your music and we call this articulations so how long how short what you want the notes to sound like so i'm going to do a few examples with the same passage of music so you can really see how different they are so we're going to start with some legato playing legato just means very smooth an effort to make the notes really smooth and connected and I'm also slurring two notes together in the same bow. So the next one is staccato playing which just means very short and very spiky. And accents, you can include accents in your music for notes that you want to have a real punch to them, a lot of emphasis. symbol on top of the note head and finally I would uh, demonstrate some tremolo which is a trembling effect um, where I repeatedly play the notes I also wanted to demonstrate a few special effects and extended techniques that are possible on the double bass the first effect is playing with the mute so I've got a rubber mute here which goes on the bridge and what it does is slightly muffles the sound of the bass. Next is sol pont which means on the bridge. So I just bow very near to the wooden bridge and the sound created is scratchy and icy. Soltasto, which means bow over the black fingerboard of the bass, and that creates a hazy and soft sound. Next is colneño, which means with the wood, and batuto, which means hit. So colneño batuto, and I use the wood in order to tap notes. tapping noise along with a tiny bit of the pitch of the note. Glissando, this is a left hand effect with the bow, so I slide my left hand between notes. Next is the ricochet effect, where I drop the bow on the string so that it bounces repeatedly. Or a snap pits is where I pull the string vertically so it snaps against the fingerboard. Natural harmonics are high flute like tones that you can produce by touching the string lightly at certain points. You can only access certain pitches from each open string, so check the document for which pitches work for those. There are also loads of percussive sounds that you can make on the double bass using your hands on the wood or the fingerboard. So knocking, tapping, a kind of deep sound in the middle. There's loads of different options there. Air sounds. So it sounds that are very hissy and airy. I can make with a very light bow. This could be on the strings or the wood. Over pressure, this is where I use excess pressure in the bow on the strings to create a, a crunch or um, a very scratchy sound. Lovely. And finally, you can also bow the black tailpiece at the bottom of the instrument to create a low humming sound. So thank you so much for watching, I hope that's been useful and do check out the information sheet for more details on all those techniques and how to notate them. Good luck!